Well, Broadway's back in Music City and bigger than ever. We continue our preview with TPAC's Jennifer Turner. Up next, the magic of Aladdin. Now, you can't miss with Disney's Aladdin. Disney. That's all I have to say <laughs> is Disney. We had a, a wonderful three-week run of The Lion King, so we're so excited to be able to bring another Disney blockbuster back. Uh, this this time it's Aladdin, and um, it's just such a sweet story, and kids are going to love it. Families are going to love it. It's a wonderful, just, you know, something for everyone, and, and you know, we just love having Disney back. Absolutely. And you mentioned The Lion King, uh, producers of The Lion King, uh, producing this one. So um, what is it about, I mean, and I know we've got, I mean, Disney been here forever. <laughs> they just do one great musical after the other. But what is it about the Disney magic that just seems to work? Well, I think it's everything. It's the movies, it's the live theatrical performances, it's the merchandise, and, you know, who doesn't have a Mickey Mouse or a Minnie Mouse? <laughs> you know, it, it's all of it. And then the experience, you know, if you're fortunate enough to make it to California or Florida and experience the Disney magic, they do such a wonderful job just making everyone feel great and really thinking about the patron experience. And that's something similar to what we do in our theaters. We want everyone to have a wonderful experience you know, they might not always love what's on the stage, but it might make them think and make them try something new or think about the world in a different way. And, and I think that's what we really strive for. We want you to have a great experience. We want you to try things. And, and Disney understands that well. And, and they just have, magi they have managed to capture that and bottle it. And, you know, one thing, too, about these kinds of uh, productions, sometimes people think, well, it's probably just for the little kids. But the thing that we find with these, like The Lion King and Aladdin, the adults go in there for the kids and then they get so much from it themselves. Well actually yeah Disney does a great job of it's not making a kids musical but making a musical spectacular for everybody to enjoy and so I think that's what you find when you get the Disney product is like it's not just a kids show it's really a show for the whole family people really enjoy it of all ages and I think you're going to love Aladdin. And part of the spectacle too of just seeing these on stage is just kind of like you see the magic just kind of come to life. Absolutely, absolutely. Just remember the flying carpet and <laughs> you'll see that come to life on stage. Yes, you will. So Aladdin hits TPAC, May 2nd, 2023. All right, now we've got history coming. So we a lot of history be. this season, but 1776. So tell me about that. So this is the counterpart to Hamilton. You know, we've got 1776, John Adams. This is a brand new production. Many people might have seen the original 1776. It's gone through, you know, several iterations. But this is the new Diane Paulus, Jeffrey Page version of 1776. Diane Paulus is the creative behind uh, waitress and a lot of other great musicals that you've seen and so her take on 1776 is going to be a little different you'll see um, some differences in casting you're going to see a lot of women in this cast which will be really interesting playing the roles of some of these really important men in history um, but it's going to be I think just an incredible production this is something that it was originally going to be pre-Broadway and then it was going to be Broadway but it's really now making its debut up in in Boston right now as we speak. So uh, we can't wait for it to go out on the road and, and come to TPAC. So you're going to be able to see it here um, before you can see it many other places. And it's a limited run in terms of number of cities that they're going to be going through. So um, this is a great opportunity to see this really groundbreaking revival. Well, and, and to me, and that speaks a lot for Nashville and TPAC. So uh, kind of tell me, what's the process when everybody's wanting this show? Kind of how does Nashville go in there and say, we really need this show. Well, I think it's a it's a combination of just an incredible audience, but also the investment that this community has made in TPAC. We have record number of subscriptions this year, so we have six thousand over six thousand new subscribers to TPAC this year. We actually had to cut off subscriptions because we ran out of inventory. So now only single tickets are going to be available for shows. That's an incredible investment. So when these producers and um, tour 
touring organizations see that Nashville is really hungry for all of these shows, this makes it a place that they want to play. So uh, it's really, it has nothing to do with me or TPAC. It's really all about this Middle Tennessee audience. Well, and, and that's just exciting because were you, what was your feeling going into this season? Uh, we know people want to get back into the theater, but I mean, did it just kind of blow you away that the subscriptions did this? It blew us all away. I think we were doing happy dances when it got to 11,000, which had exceeded our best year in the organization's history. So the fact that we're almost at 14 is just absolutely mind blowing, um, which the response is incredible. And I do think people wanted to get back and see live performance again. But I also think that they're just really excited about some of these shows and access to this product straight from New York that they're going to get right here in their hometown. Now, classic show. Okay, this is the special add-on, yes. Les Mis. Oh, <laughs> again, this is, a, this is a show that we had um, pre-pandemic scheduled, and we weren't able to get it back this past season just due to touring and dates, but we were so fortunate to be able to grab it and make sure that we could we could deliver the season that we promised in uh, 2021, which is the pandemic year. So it's just such a classic and people love it. I love it. Um, our audience loves it. And, you know, I just can't wait to have that magic that's going to be in January. And, you know, it's an add on because we know that, you know, we can, you know, every time we put it on our stage, people want to come to it. So, um, you know, many people have seen it, which is why we put it as an add on to the subscription, but we just know that it's going to be enormously popular and people are going to love it. Well, it's another show kind of like Hamilton and Phantom that, I mean, you just want to see it over and over and over. What do you think Absolutely. it is about Les Mis that brings people back again and again? Oh, the music. I do think it's the music. I mean, the songs are just so iconic and, you know, the performances, um, just the setting is really, you know, it's history, but it's romance. It, it, it's all of those things. And it, it just, I think, resonates with people. Um, many people saw the movie that came out a few years ago, and so they want to go back and experience the stage production. Um, but I, I can't wait to see it again. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, same here, same here. So let's recount because we've got all, we've told you about a lot of the shows. We want to make sure that we get all the dates so that you can get those on your calendars. There it is on your screen. We'll start with Hamilton, July 26th, moving on to Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird, beginning August 9th. Pretty Woman the Musical, September 27th. Hades Town, don't miss that one, November 1st, 6th. Starts February 21st, 2023. We've got Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations, March 21st. Then Disney's Aladdin, that magic hits May 2nd. And then the magic of 1776 hits June 20th in 2023. And you can see the add-on. We were just talking about Les Mis, January 10th, 2023. So Jennifer, we just got about 30 seconds left, but as we kind of look at this season, um, kind of what do you feel like at the end of this season, what do you think people are going to be talking about all of these shows kind of combined? What do you think they'll come away with? I think they'll come away with how how wonderful women are. I mean, there's just a, a lot of great things about talking about powerful women, um, really just strong women, creative. Um, I think that's a great message for these days, but um, very excited about the season overall. You got a little bit of history. You got, you know, the six, which is history, but in a contemporary way. Yeah. So just a, a lot of fun. Awesome. So good to see you, Jennifer. So good to see you. Glad you were here. Glad All right. Here. So don't miss out on an incredible Broadway season at TPAC. Get your tickets at tpac.org slash Broadway. That's a wrap. We'll see you next time.